Hello everyone, today I'm going to go through how to change HDB mailbox lock to a digital version. I have indicated in the link below if you want to purchase them online. This is the box that I received this morning. These are the tools that are required to complete the installation. We have here a screwdriver, cross tip, a plier with an extendable head, and this extendable is very useful when it comes to the later process. I'll put away this for now. I'll unbox the product. Here we have the instruction menu in English. If you buy from Taobao, you may get the Chinese version. We have a battery, a lock nut, and the screwdriver. The device itself. You know that this is a 6 pin lock online, there is a 8 pin if you want to. And a lock plate. Now I will insert the battery. To insert the battery, it's better to use the provided screwdriver because it fits the size. So when you insert the battery, do take note that you should see a plus point and it should face up when it's not in it. So you'll hear a clicking sound and you just insert it accordingly facing the right direction. There you go. Alright. So to get it started, we have the default password of one, two, three, four, and press OK. To change the password, just hold OK for 2 seconds until you see the blinking green light. From here, let's say I change the password to 1, 1, 1, 1. Press OK. Now the password has changed. We also have the default factory password. It's like the mother of password, in case you forget the original one. So the default is 4, 3, 2, 1. Once again, to change. Let's say I change to 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Right? Now, the default password and the mother of password cannot be of the same. However, this password can be a combination from 4 to 15 digits. Do take note that when you buy a digital lock online, it has to turn anti clockwise to work for HDB's mailbox. What I mean by that is that first, you hold on to this area. Type in the correct lock and when you turn, it's supposed to be anti clockwise. See? If just now, when, if you turn this way, it's wrong. It will not work for the mailbox. Please have it returned. So after you're done with the battery, let's put it back. So for this screw, you must use the bigger screwdriver. For this part, you will that it's a screwdriver and the washer. Next, you will need a lock nut. So what happens is that when you take out the old lock, this will be put inside. This thing is followed by the lock nut. You secure it in place and then you will have the plate to put here so you see that it matches the square and then you have the screwdriver to put in so you lock it that's how it works so let's pack up and then we'll move to the mailbox lock downstairs
the tools you require for this would be this screwdriver and just now I mentioned the plier let's go